your background in business. How have both helped qualify you to lead this state? And the first uh, response comes from you, Councilor Van Ostrom. Well, to me, this job comes down to always looking out for people. A big difference between Chris and I on the Executive Council was the vote to support Planned Parenthood funding, which he voted to successfully cut off. For 10 months of the last year, we saw the impact on people. Um, now, I was raised by a single mom. I know what it's like to not always have health insurance growing up. And while that can seem like a political concept to Chris Sununu, I know how much it affects somebody if we saw, as we did in Manchester, wait lists go from three weeks to five weeks, or have the number of health care practitioners on shift go from three to two. So I've seen issues like that uh, in my work on the Executive Council. Uh, I've also seen at Stonyfield and Southern New Hampshire University concretely how we can bring and keep more young people and young families here, new businesses and startups, strengthen our economy and find inefficiencies and find ways to cut red tape to move our state forward. For me, it always comes to doing what's right for people, and that's the lesson that I'll take with me into the corner office. Same question for you, Councilor Sununu. I believe the question is about our business backgrounds. And once again, Colin doesn't want to talk about it because he doesn't really have a business background. <laughs> again, we need a stakeholder. I manage budgets. I manage people. I manage employees. I manage costs. These are the things that we need in the corner office to understand how these things affect people's lives. Again, it's not about words on a piece of paper. It's about how it affects people's lives. Now, my experience is, is uh, well-documented. My entire life is an open book. I give you straight answers every time. Colin will avoid his background any chance he gets because it's a paid political operative. And look at the ads we're seeing out there right now, right? Look at what we see his campaign doing. When he, when he disagrees with me, he's put an ad out attacking my family. What kind of person puts an ad out with a picture of my mom in an attack ad? Is that the attitude, the philosophy, the culture we want in the government? Is that the pinnacle of, of leadership, the, the model that we need to set for not just state government but for the rest of, of, of the people in this state? I say absolutely not. I bring optimism and energy, positivity, all backed by real experience in managing Council, business. We're just about out of time. But, uh...